Good morning, Quiet Copter 101 here. What I got for you today is something that I find really, really neat, really interesting. Something brand new technology that I've never seen before implemented on uh, toy grade quadcopters before. Um, it is a panoramic camera, folks. Uh, about 15 years ago, in another, in another life, another <laughs> career, I was playing around with a technology called silver, silver ball camera uh, technology. Uh, imagine taking a camera. A video camera pointing it at the sky or a still camera pointing it at the sky and above that placing a silver ball the reflection on that silver ball would give you on your camera a single image a 360 degree panorama image of the area now that image of course would be distorted but if you use software you could actually undistort that image and get real-time 360 degree capability of panning and zooming now that's what's incorporated in this uh, uh, new camera for the uh, Bugs 3, the MJX Bugs 3. It has a very wide angled lens instead of a silver ball that gives it a view 180 degrees around the, the uh, bottom of the quadcopter, the belly of the quadcopter. And through software you can edit that image and view that image not only in real time but later on when you're back home you can um, pan around the area using the software. It's a simple app that's available, uh, the MJX Go app. Uh, you can download that from Google Play and the iTunes store um, that you can use to unscramble that image, undistort that image, and actually pan around the area. Now, actually, I, I think I apologize. I think MJX Go is not yet available on Google Play yet but it is available on their website and I'll include a link down below where you can get this app for your uh, particular uh, quadcopter um, if you buy this camera. This camera is called the C4022 camera. Now, you do have to install that camera yourself and I'll include uh, pictures on how I installed it at the end of this video but it's very simple. You just remove these four screws, the top pops open very easily and there are two screws for the uh, LED light on the front of the camera that you unscrew and remove the power plug from the main camera board and then just remove that LED camera and plop in the C4022 C4 camera in its place. There's also a little rubber screen or little rubber plug here that you gotta pop off so that the camera can poke down through the belly of the aircraft. Again this camera is looking downward it's not looking forward and the reason being it's getting 360 degree panorama of it of the area okay you don't want to get 360 degrees of the sky you want to see around the quadcopter so again that camera is pointed at the belly so what I'm going to do folks is I'm going to fly around this local area here um, I'll do commentary while I'm flying the quadcopter but most of this video is going to be post editing uh, uh, using my tablet here my tablet is able to screen record and also provide commentary <laughs> record audio while I'm uh, screen recording. What I am going to do is use the app at home after I, I'm going to record real-time video onto uh, both, there's a camera card for the camera and that stores it, but it also transmits, saves that real-time video for later downloading onto your tablet. And you can go at home and actually pan around and edit the video later. So I'm going to do that. So let's put it in the air and see how it performs and we'll show you how this camera works. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, I have the MJX Go app started. Notice this panoramic image we have here on the screen here from the belly of the aircraft. We're seeing 360 degrees around it. Now you can select different modes in the lower left corner here and what we're going to do is select expand for this for the flight while I'm flying. Keep in mind that it will be recording though um, in panoramic mode so we, it doesn't matter what mode we select while viewing but it will be recording in panoramic mode and also I am going to be selecting higher resolution okay that should be better and going back to mode expand and we're going to be viewing forward of the quadcopter and I want to view it forward and a little bit down okay and on top of that I want to start recording and recording has started so let's go into the air, put my glasses on so I can view the quadcopter while flying and arming the motors and take into the air. Now I'm not going to be watching FPV, at a, I'm not flying FPV folks, I'm going to be flying line of sight letting it record because later on I am going to be editing. But hello, <laughs> 
And we're just going to fly around the, the field here to show what this can do. I'm not going to go super high, but high enough that we can use the uh, imagery from it. Again, it's now I can't go too far out, folks. I have to keep within 50 meters of the uh, tablet. And the reason being, folks, you know, it is Wi Fi 2.4 gigahertz Wi Fi. The data is being transmitted, and you have to stay close in effect because of that that's the limitation of it um, in the future I can see 5.8 gigahertz versions of this camera coming out so that you it wouldn't be interfered you know there wouldn't be any interference from Wi-Fi and yeah, let's come down a little lower here So, hopefully I'm getting good imagery, and the wind's picking up, but it don't matter. This is a Bugs 3, it don't care about wind. And let's plop it there and let the wind blow it by. Flying sideways. <laughs> And probably in post-editing, I'm going to just keep panning toward myself to show you that you can maintain your, your, you know, yourself in the image. You can also do that while you're flying, you know, except uh, it's kind of hard to fly and, you know, use the software at the same time. You know, a third or a second person would need to be doing that for you, in effect. So, okay, I'm not going to do a super long video of it. I just wanted to demonstrate it. First time demonstration of this technology. Very neat idea though, folks. So that should be it. I'm gonna land it now. I'm not gonna fly it until the battery's dead, but just wanted to get some footage with it. Hopefully we got some footage and I'll land it now. So stand by for follow on video of the Bugs 3 C4022 camera. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here, and this is after the flight. I'm back at home, and I'm sitting at my kitchen table here with my Shield tablet, and I want to show you what you can do with uh, in post-flight with the app. Okay, now, when you first open this app after you download it, you, it just might be in Chinese, especially if you downloaded it from the MJX site. And to turn it into English, you hit that top uh, bar, which would be Go in Chinese, and right now I have it set to English, but you hit that top bar and then you select the uh, gear icon in the lower left corner and you're, it's going to be in Chinese, you know, the top one and the bottom one will be in Chinese, but the language one, as you can see here, is the second bar on the bottom that you'd select and English is the third or the second selection in the center and you would hit that. Um, again, that would be normally be in Chinese if, when you first open it. But by doing that, you know, hitting that bar, hitting the second selection, and hitting the second selection again will bring up English. So right now it wants to connect to Wi-Fi. Um, it's trying to connect to the quadcopter, but we don't really want to connect to the quadcopter. Instead, we are going to go into our folders and go into video and find the recording that I did earlier today in the morning, this morning. And that's it right there in the upper left corner. We will click on it. And right now, I'm going to turn off this eye since we're not going to be controlling this. And just hit uh, play, which would be the center button there. And right now it's playing. And, and as you see, can see here, um, it's showing the um, 3D, or not, the full screen panorama picture that was recorded directly to the camera. Now, if you go to the upper right-hand corner there and click on Mode, we can expand that, and you and it will use the software to select a viewable type of mode, you know, something we could use for, say, FPV viewing. And notice, I'm using my finger here to sl slide my finger across the screen to show you that you can select any view you want, 360 degrees around the quadcopter. 
Okay, let's go back to my best, the best view, which is of myself on the ground there. <laughs> it's turning the quadcopter very quickly. But I'll try to maintain a view on myself on the ground, controlling the quadcopter, using my finger, sliding my finger around on top of myself to keep myself in the center of the picture. So this in itself is a very great advancement over what currently we have out there. This is something you'd normally see on... Uh, Surveillance type aircraft, <laughs> surveillance drones, military surveillance drones, in fact. But now, you know, you got it on toy grade quadcopters, which is pretty amazing in my opinion. Now, if we go back to the mode switch again, there are other views that we can select, such as 3D VR. 3D VR is you put your, you know, you use a uh, smartphone, put it in one of those uh, Google uh, cardboard devices, and just moving your head around, right, right now I'm just moving my tablet around, you can view the world. I'm, I'm turning my tablet to the right, turning my tablet to the left, looking up on my tablet, looking down on my tablet. And the world moves around just as if, you know, if you were moving your head around, it'll also do the same, which this also is freaking amazing that they got this on here. Now let's select four screen view. Four screen view gives you four independent views that you can also move around and scroll with your finger. Let's play with this one in the lower right hand corner. I'm going to use my put my finger on it and scroll around right or left, right, trying to find myself on the ground. Again, you can you know it's independent of the other three. Or if you'll take your finger off, it just stays the same. And let's go select another mode. It even has six screen mode six independent screens that you can also scroll around like I'm scrolling around the, the bottom center one. Oh, there I am. There I am in that colorful shirt. How do you like my tie-dye, folks? <laughs> and finally, we have cylinder view. Now, cylinder view, you can also, I believe, yeah, you can also move around. I don't really see the use of this particular view, though, because it's kind of distorted. But, you know, you can, in the upper part there, you have a, a panorama type, or a actually a viewable type area. And in the bottom view, it's just a cylinder. And going back to original. And again, this is all based on this particular view here. Um, the software uses the software um, you, or uses this view to zoom in on any specific part of it. Let's hit pause real quick. Pause, pause, pause. There we go. Actually, and I'm going to use the scroll bar here and select a better part or a better view, a view that I want to zoom in on, uh, something with me in it. <laughs> I'm looking for a, fl a part of the flight where I was flying close to myself. Here, let's hit play. And it's, okay, moving it around that area there. And I'm noticing you can also move around the expand or the uh, original view too. So, so let's go back to that. Hit play again. Play. Yeah, can we move to somewhere further in the flight? And I'm going to uh, select somewhere further in the flight and hit pause. And then we're going to go to original or expanded mode. You know, what I'm trying to show you here, folks, is, okay, there I am on the ground. Let's say this. Uh, we want to take a picture of this uh, soccer net here. All we do is hit the scissors up in the upper left-hand corner, and that took a, a snapshot of it. And say we want to take a picture of me and my wife. My wife's sitting down there uh, watching me from the shade, and I'm flying it uh, there, and it just took a picture. Now, we can go... And hit the back button, hit the back button, hit the back button one more time, and go to screenshots, and you can see we have screenshots saved. So, again, you can go to anywhere back in the video, playing it back again once you get home. Again, keeping in mind, this recorded everything it saw, 360 degrees. So, everything has been recorded, and you can go back and actually um, take particular snippets that you want. And view any part, you know, any part, or any anything this uh, quadcopter was seeing throughout its flight, it it was recorded. So, just pretty neat technology in my view. Right now, you know, it's limited by resolution, limited by the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. I bet you soon in the near very new future, we're going to see 5.8 gigahertz versions of this in 1080p. 
right now this is the first one I saw that so you know keep in mind you know this is the first generation of it for tour grade quadcopters so I hope you enjoyed this flight this is quadcopter 101 signing out